Operation Crime and Justice, the former, Valer, uh, I should say, Laverne police officer at the center of a police department sex scandal, is now suing the city. Megan Hall, former cop, says that members of the department created a hostile, sexualized work environment, allowing more experienced police officers and supervisors to prey on her. Hall, one of five officers fired after an internal investigation, found that officers were sharing nude pictures, explicit messages, text messages, and having sex on the job in city cars and buildings. Police Chief Earl Davis was also fired. Wednesday on Fox 17 News at 9, we take a deeper look into the investigation into Laverne Police. Okay, so that's the whole clip right there. Um, Listen. This is a story right here that I never really, I didn't talk about at all. I didn't do any videos about it. I didn't talk about it in any of my live streams and none of that. Shout out to Rob over at Blacklight Revelations too, because he stayed on top of this story. And that's a very interesting choice of words, considering that this woman had a lot of, she was on, uh, had a lot of men on top of her. Uh, <laughs> I just had to throw that in there. Um, and I'm sure he's probably going to talk about this as well. And it's amazing to me how she is now trying to claim that she was sexually groomed by these men. But what I find to be even more interesting is that whenever they highlight the story with her, they love to make sure that they incorporate this guy, this guy, and this guy. The three black guys. If they don't incorporate anyone else in this picture besides her, they're going to make sure they're going to have these three in there somewhere, somehow, some way. I said, this looks like some OnlyFans content creation waiting to happen. It's amazing that she's now claiming that she was sexually groomed now, considering if she really wanted to lay on that claim, she could have said that early on. This story is like, a month or so old since it got exposed to the nation. Now she wants to claim that she was sexually groomed, but I'm going to go ahead and read this article that goes along with it. It says ex Laverne police officer, Megan Hall has accused her potential quote unquote role models at her place of work to be predators in a lawsuit. She filed against the city and three other former officers. Monday, it claims that Hall was sexually groomed by men at the station among which included Sergeant Powell, Sergeant McGowan and chief Davis. The introduction states that her supervisors and the chief entrapped her in quote unquote in degrading and abuse of sexual relationships, even sharing tips on the best ways to manipulate and exploit her. This comes after a highly publicized investigation revealing alleged sexual relationships between Laverne police officers while on duty and inside the city owned property, the sharing of explicit photos and videos and sexual harassment. And then it says that they've obtained the full lawsuit, which I'm not going to read because this thing is 51 pages long, but they basically have obtained the lawsuit. But yeah, she, she, she's trying to save her own skin. That's basically what it is. But she has no one to blame but herself. She is the one that willingly engaged and participated in these extracurricular activities while being married the whole time. And her husband just seems like a weak man at the same time. Like I've heard stuff, you know, about him and it seems like he's just going right along with it. It doesn't seem like he really checked her the way that a husband would check his very extracurricular and sexually a uh, uh, deviant wife but yeah we know what she means she, when she says sexually groomed and how ironic they keep ex putting out there those three black officers even though they weren't the only ones that were involved and those male and these officers are no better because many of the, some of them as far as i know were married themselves so they were cheating on their wives is one big crazy thing and I remember it was some audio, I believe, when they had interrogated her or interviewed her. And when she was talking and everything, she wasn't sounding like a person that was groomed because when they were talking to her, she never, ever gave off this hint or even said flat out that she was being abused sexually or she was being groomed by these cops. She just sounded like she was going with the flow. And a lot of times she was initiating it. So I don't know how far this so-called lawsuit is going to go. But then again, she is a PC woman living in America. All she got to do is cry in them crocodile Karen tears and things might actually go her way. 
And it's probably because whatever kind of profit or whatever she was trying to get out of this is falling flat. So now she has to go to another route because she needs the money. That's what this is saying to me. I have a feeling that if this was a takeoff or a launch pad for her in a financial way, this wouldn't even be a case right now. It would just be another one of those situations of someone being very sexually explicit on the job, knowing damn well they shouldn't be.